guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to do a project that holds a lot of fun memories for me. So I wanna show you how to make a living Easter basket. So instead of filling it with the fake grass filler, I wanna show you how to fill it with real grass. It's a super easy project, but it is something that you need to think about starting about 10 to 15 days before Easter to have it ready to go. Um, it does not take a lot of supplies. All you need is the Easter basket. You need a piece of plastic. I mean, you can use a grocery sack, probably doubled up or a garbage bag. I just have a piece of clear plastic here to line the container with. We aren't gonna worry about drainage because this is super temporary. Then you need a good, just all purpose potting mix and you need some grass seed. I'm using perennial ryegrass. It seems to germinate really, really quickly and it, it creates a really nice bright green grass and then a spray bottle to mist the soil and grass seed. It's really nice to water with a spray bottle because it doesn't dislodge the seed and make it run all over the place. And then I've got a pair of scissors here to cut any excess plastic and then a heat mat, which I will talk about in a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just line the container with my plastic and fill it with soil. Now, depending on how much stuff you usually put in the Easter basket, that's where you can kind of put the level of soil. I'm just putting it probably about an inch from the top here, and then I'm gonna trim away any excess plastic from the top. All right, so this looks just about perfect, and you wanna smooth the soil out really, really well, and just kind of pack it down a little bit with your hands, not super tight, but you just want a nice level, even surface. And then I'm gonna grab my grass seed, and sprinkle it liberally over the top. I don't really even like to see a whole lot of soil left, so just like this. It doesn't take a whole lot of grass seed for this, just a couple of handfuls. We actually sell it in bulk down at the garden center where I work, so it's pretty easy to get a hold of just like a quarter of a pound, which I still have a bunch left over. So, and it holds, so if you have leftover grass seed from this project, you can hold it from year to year and it will germinate. All right, so look at that. That is really covered with seed, but I would rather it come up super thick um, and look like a super thick lush lawn on top of the Easter basket than come up kind of thin. So then all we really need to do is water it in. I'm just gonna give it a good watering with the spray bottle. But see how when I water, it doesn't dislodge the seed. If I were to water it with a watering can, it would make little rivers and channels through the top of the soil surface and it would probably move the seed all around. And I really want the grass to come up evenly. And the last thing that we need to do is just cover it with a piece of plastic. And you can use saran wrap, you can use another plastic bag, just something to put over the top, just like this, to kind of create a little bit of a greenhouse effect. And you wanna make sure to water your grass at least twice a day in the beginning. I usually check mine in the morning and then sometime in the evening. It's just really important not to let the seeds dry out once you've started to water them. Um, once your grass is up and it's looking like a little bit thicker, you can remove the plastic and you can back off on watering just a little bit. And I usually set my basket somewhere where it's just nice and warm, but a bright location. It doesn't need to be direct sun, just nice and bright. And if you're getting to this project just a little bit late and you think you may not have quite enough time to get the grass up and going, there is a way that you can buy yourself a couple of days. So seeds tend to germinate a lot quicker when the soil temperature is warmer. So if you happen to have a seedling heat mat in your house, if you are the type who likes to start seeds inside, you might have one of these. They're actually not very expensive. We'll link one down below. But what it does is you plug it into the wall and this little mat heats up a little bit. And so whatever you sit on top of it, it'll heat it up. So if you set your basket on top of this, it'll heat that soil up and get the grass going a little bit faster. So this will buy you about two days. All right, so I'm gonna set this stuff aside because I did actually start one of these baskets about 10 days ago so that I could show you what it looks like. Look at this, isn't this so cute? So this one I started 10 days ago and this is how it turned out. So you can see all the grass in there and I did arrange a few candy things in there just so you guys could get a sense of what it would look like when you have it all full. Um, one thing I did forget to mention was uh, make sure to stop watering one to two days before Easter, before you put your stuff in the basket. That way the top soil level will dry out so it doesn't wreck any of your stuff. So this one I stopped watering two days ago. The grass still looks great, everything fit in there, and I just think it's so cute. And this just holds so many memories for me. I just remember my mom getting these ready for us every single year and there was always such excitement. And I don't know um, about you guys, but Easter is actually my favorite holiday of the entire year. I love it. I think it's because it's spring, so the garden's coming alive and it's just that spring energy is just surrounding me and Easter's just such a fun, happy, light holiday to me. I just love it. So if you guys do try this project, please take a picture. I really wanna see how your guys' turn out. I know everybody's turn out a little bit different and it's really fun and inspiring just to see everybody's creations. So take a picture, post it to social media and make sure to tag us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.